Hi there, it's Adam from King Chrome, and I'm going to show you how to use the micrometer torque wrench. Before we start, the torque wrench is different to your other ratchets. It's not a tool to remove fasteners or a tool to be used like a breaker bar. The torque wrench is a precision tightening and finishing tool. The micrometer torque wrench operates in both directions. The switch on the tool head allows for tightening of left and right threads, but it's not to be used for undoing fasteners. The tool emits a click sound when the desired torque setting is achieved. Precision tightening is generally a manufacturer's requirement on the application and fastener being used. Using the micrometer torque wrench is quite easy, but it pays to understand the tool and what it's used for. I have the half inch square drive model to demonstrate. This will be perfect for lighter to heavy duty applications. There are some important safety points to consider when using torque wrenches. Always ensure that you keep proper footing and balance at all times, and do not use the wrench in places where you may fall or slip. And wearing gloves can really assist with grip. Let's get into it in these simple steps. Step one, before you start, always make sure you use the correct size tool for the job. Each micrometer wrench has a torque range in both newton meters and foot pounds. Consult the manufacturer's guide for the torque requirements of your job. Step two, begin by loosening the locking knob at the bottom of the tool, turning counterclockwise and turn the handle to the correct torque number on the scale and use the fine scale to set smaller number increments. In this example, I want to set the torque number at 45 foot-pounds. I've turned the handle till the number 40 is reached and I'll add five by using the fine scale. Contained in the instruction manual for this tool is a handy table that converts foot-pounds to newton meters and vice versa. Step three, tighten the locking knob by turning clockwise. The torque setting is now locked. The handle is secure for use and it's time to attach the required socket. Step four, gripping the torque wrench is very important and a large groove on the handle is a center guide for your hand. Step five, slowly and evenly pull the handle till you hear the click. The click indicates that the set torque has been achieved and the tool can now be removed. Never apply more torque to the fastener after the click is heard. Over torque fasteners and sockets can suddenly break, causing injury. There are several important tips regarding torque wrenches. The tool should be recalibrated every 10,000 cycles or every 12 months by an NATA approved facility. Refer to nata.com.au for more information. If your torque wrench is dropped, knocked, even in the protective case or any part is replaced, the wrench must be immediately recalibrated prior to the next use. The forward and reverse switch on the tool head is strictly used for changing between tightening left and right threads. Always store your torque wrench at the lowest number setting, but not past this number. This releases the internal spring and reduces stress on the tool. Lastly, you shouldn't have to strain when tightening fasteners. If you are, you're using the wrong tool. Try a larger model. So there you have the micrometer torque wrench, a great tool used by the professional and the home user. For more information, please see the King Chrome website.